previously on In Transit. We met some locals from Khabarovsk and had a good time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. After a great stay in Khabarovsk, we decided to take our first extended ride on the Trans-Siberian Railway. This leg of the journey will be on the train for two nights, or approximately 40 hours, en route to Chita. And just as I was getting comfortable, we met this guy, Ivan. I was looking forward to spending the next couple days letting my body recover from our nights in Khabarovsk. But Ivan wasn't going to let that happen. Unlike the guys we met in the past, Ivan was very aggressive. Not trying to make a big deal of it, we decided to give him a shot. He walked us down to the dining cart. And when he found out that we were footing the bill, he took us for a ride. As our hospitality was being tested, he revealed that he was just released from prison in Vladivostok and was also headed to Jita. One thing about third class is that it's only as comfortable as the people you're sharing the compartment with. This is Blinky. Like Ivan, Blinky doesn't speak any English, but loves to drink. <laughs> It's so nice to have the fresh air. The train was getting claustrophobic, so little pit stops like this were welcome relief. <laughs> After a few incidents off camera, including a scuffle with another passenger, Ivan was done for the night. Even with Ivan out of the picture, we were just getting started with this bunch. My friends. Oh, your friend. Hey, I'm Russian, eh? Yeah, you're Russian. I'm 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 <laughs> we figured out uh, if you if you can't speak the language, just draw us, uh, USA and Russia. We're going to meet up in Baikal. He drew Peter and himself in a boat above the water, fishing into a hole. And I drew myself uh, filming the event, and then he drew a fish eating me. <laughs> And that's the end of our first day on this train. Zone. <laughs> the next morning, it starts all over again. We were off to a good start, and then Blinky arrived. I don't 
that he likes the microphone. After about six hours of drinking and more sparse conversation, we snuck away to catch the sunset. It may sound like a minor victory, but a little time alone and a big bottle of water is like a little slice of heaven on the Trans-Siberian Railway. If you want more, make sure to subscribe, visit the bonus channel, as well as our friends over at the Real Russia blog for more insight into life in Russia.